Hello everybody, in this short video I'm gonna explain the difference between a composite attribute, multi-valued attribute and why it's important to fix them before you start building your database. Now I have an example, uh, I have um, a customer or an actor Adam Sander with a street address and of course this is not the correct one so don't try to <laughs> search for it uh, and uh, um, yeah, three phone numbers so I have one actor with three phone numbers now this one here is a composite attribute because it's not broken down to its um, sub parts and then this one has more than one value because the the, uh, the actor has more than one phone number <coughs> to fix the composite attribute is very very easy all you have to do is break it to its own parts not Orange Street and then the city state and zip code that's the composite attribute now for the phone number uh, there are different ways of fixing it and uh, um, I'm gonna show you uh, a way to fix it but then the issues with it so one way of course is to give its row unique um, it record a unique row uh, and then you put the phone the first phone the second and third one the, uh, the issue with that is that once you uh, for example if the actor changes the others instead of going to one place to change the others then you're gonna have to change it you know three times uh, on the if the record exists in the database more than you know uh, in multitude of times 20 10 whatever then you're gonna have to search for that record uh, all those times and then change it and that's a, a problem with uh, it's called an anomaly in, in database now of course you can <coughs> um, give it you know like put it this way but then if you keep it the same name that's a no no because that's a column that has the same name you know three columns that have the same name uh, or you can just put uh, you know home phone cell phone etc uh, and that's one way of fixing it. but the best way to fix it of course is to give the phone its own uh, entity so uh, if uh, somebody asks you for example one time if if an attribute can become an entity yes when an attribute is a multi-valued attribute yeah the best way is to give it its own entity or its own table in the physical design and that's exactly what we did here so we put the phone number here and we put the uh, the actor name here and the address the other information so we only have one record now we don't have to put it three times like we did here because when once we take the phone number to the other side we only have one record so we don't have to put adam sender three times here uh, now um, this one here and this one are not linked uh, in database this is uh, mysql is original database and we we link one table to the other using primary keys and foreign keys so what we're going to do <coughs> excuse me we're going to give this one a primary key and that's the id of the customer we're just going to put 101 here okay and then we're going to give the phones phone id and that's the primary key for the phone table okay and then this one is just going to be a generic one, two, three. So I'm going to put one, two, three, and then make it a series. So this is one, two, three. Now, this is one, two, many relationship. One actor has more than one phone number. One, two, many relationship. And we know that in database, the phone key always going to be on the many side. So the phone key is going to be placed here. And the phone key is nothing other than the primary key of the first table. So we're going to put ID, and then here it's 101. Uh, the primary key cannot repeat in its uh, where it's a primary key in a table for example here we cannot have another 101 we cannot have another uh, actor with the same id just like your student id can nobody no other student or no other employee if you are an employee can have the same id however in here since this one is just linking to the primary key it's a foreign key that's linking this table to this one then yes it can repeat but this one cannot the phone id cannot repeat now if we go to the database and we build a quick uh, schema and uh, we're going to create schema if you can type schema and we're going to call it orders i will show you how that translates in the uh, database so i'm gonna this is one is going to create a schema slash database or there is a little difference but anyway um, so if you refresh this is a refresh button then it'll refresh the list of database you have here and then order is one of them as you can see this one doesn't have any tables it's empty so what we need to do is use this schema or we can just double click on it if we double click on it this that's going to do the same uh, as uh, you're typing use orders and then what we'll do is create table 
and we're gonna call it customer all right and then uh, this customer table is gonna have id which is an integer int and then i'm gonna make this one primary key and comma and then first name and then it's going to be variable character varkar 20 and then comma and then last name varkar 20 and then address i'm going to fix the varkar address and same thing variable character I'm gonna make this one for you. And then that's it. Notice that in the let me fix this one. Notice the last one before the comma. I didn't, I didn't put a comma here. And uh, this one here is gonna be created in the this uh, database. So if I run my query, okay, and then I refresh, I see now that I have a table called customer. Now, the, the issue with this one is that if we look at the columns, right? Um, if I want to look at the columns, uh, basically what it does, it creates a select statement. Select and asterisk stands for all columns. Show me all columns in this table. ID, first name, last name, and address. Now, if I want to look for customers that have a specific zip code, it's going to be a little bit difficult because uh, uh, I cannot filter by zip code because it's not broken down. Uh, versus, for example, if I go here and then I create another table, right? I'm just gonna call this one customer two, and then this one. This is another table, by the way. This is not using uh, using the same database street address, and then I'm gonna add a comma here, and then I'm gonna add city, state, zip code, right? So this one is going to be Varkar CT20, well, just uh, yeah. and that's fine. And then state is going to be also Varkar. This one I can put 10 cents, state can only have two sometimes. I always have a state in Varkar. And the uh, comma here. And then zip code and right. So this one will create another table called customer two, right? So uh, if I refresh again, now I have two tables: customer one, customer two. And this one, if I click on the let me go to customer two, then I have a zip code. And if I want to look for a customer, the specific zip code is much much easier than uh, the one it's in the first table when it's not when the composite attribute has not been uh, fixed. <laughs> now uh, let me. Um, go back and what i will do is uh, i'm gonna insert i'm gonna insert some values insert into customer tool values values then, and then ID is going to be 101 and then first name is going to be Adam and then comma and then Sandler. Um, it's very 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 important that the, um, the number of values that you put uh, in there is exactly uh, uh, it's corresponding to uh, what you have the columns so this is not the table of course um, the table is the city state zip code that's what I'm inserting the values this one is select statement from the previous one so don't get confused with that so uh, I have a ID first name last name and then I have street address which is gonna be what did we put here uh, 20 North Orange Street 20 North Orange on the street and then comma and then we have a city which is LA and then comma and then we have state which is California yeah. and then we have a zip code 
which is 3 to 8. I just want to put the same thing to 8 minus 5. 5, 8, minus 5. I just want to, you know, put exactly the same thing. So notice for the whole number, I don't have to put the dashes those here. So uh, again, the I have in customer two. If I go to customer two, right, and if I click the select statement, right, have ID, first name, last name, at the city, state, zip one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right. So let me go back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So exactly the same. Another way of writing this uh, insert statement is to put the column names here. So you can go back to the manual and see how you can insert values. You can omit the columns if you are very careful with the with the values, or you can put the columns here in the insert statement. So I'm going to go ahead and run and uh, refresh. And then if I go to customer two, now if I click on the select statement, you can see that I have values in there, 101, Adam Sander, etc. And if I want to filter, if I have uh, many customers there and I just want to show a uh, first name and last name, so what I can do is first name, select first name, last name of the person from the orders customer two, which is the table. And then if I want to filter, I can use a where statement and I say, okay, when zip code equals to specific value, zip code equal to 2589, right now 25895. Uh, and then I'm going to have, if I run my query, I'm going to have Adam Sandler. That's the person that lives in uh, that lives in the zip code. So when you break a composite attribute, it's easier to filter when you are querying, when you're using your select statement. Uh, this is a quick introduction also to the select statement from where zip code. Uh, when you're using Workbench, there are a few shortcuts that you can use. Uh, uh, but I want to show you uh, or kind of get you used to use the, the SQL coding better than using Workbench because not every platform that you're going to use uh, is going to have a Workbench. Uh, so it's good to know uh, some of the things that you can find in Workbench that makes it easier for you. For example, when you double click and replace the use statement when it comes to schema. But it's good to know uh, the statement or how to write, you know, use schema to create a database. Uh, I hope that was uh, helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.